Tomorrow's trends are already clear today. They are digital trends. The world is changing fast, and that will continue. Twenty years ago, few had heard of the Internet. Today, it's used by three billion worldwide. It's a trillion euro marketplace. It's the platform for tremendous innovation. Europe is becoming a connected continent where everyone can access the Internet, wherever they are. All kinds of innovations rely on digital, across the economy and across society. Whether it is healthcare, smart cities, e-government or ensuring safety and security. Conversely, a competitive European ICT industry can underpin, transform and modernize everything we do. Science is no exception. Open digital science is agile, collaborative, collective, using new digital tools and new big data techniques, changing how research and innovation is conceived, conducted, disseminated, reviewed and applied. Ordinary citizens can be more engaged and informed. Setting goals, contributing to analysis, knowing results are applied to the right challenges, seeing that science is responsible and ethical, more aware how their public research euro is being spent. The EU has long supported science, research and innovation, and rightly so. It's the best way to generate jobs, energize our economy and strengthen our society. In a competitive world, we act better when we act together, pooling our resources to stay world class. Horizon 2020 will be an 80 billion euro investment in our future, with ICT at its heart. And we are giving EU industry the global lead in areas like 5G connectivity, the next generation of mobile, like robotics, like photonics for faster communications and smarter, greener applications from healthcare to home lighting, like high performance computing offering unprecedented processing power to scientists, industry and more. Like electronics, where we can double production and create a quarter of a million jobs. Like big data, helping scientists, industry and government make informed decisions every day like groundbreaking flagships for computers based on the human brain and the new wonder material, graphene. To compete, Europe needs the right tools and the right rules, with a vibrant digital single market, bringing down barriers to support every small smart digital business, with an innovation radar to detect and support every potential innovator in our research programs and get them to market and by investing in education and skills through connected classrooms, interactive curricula and open education and training. Because don't forget, ICT in Europe creates 100,000 well-paid jobs a year and provides the inspiration for millions of innovative apps and startups. Digital skills are like the new literacy. These trends can help us create a better future where science and technology continue to transform how we connect and communicate, work, live, learn, interact and transact. One thing is clear, we always underestimate the impact of new technologies. Once people thought one computer would be enough for a whole country, now each of you probably has a thousand times more computing power sitting in your pocket. In future, digital services, applications and tools will become available and affordable to everybody, everywhere. Connected through pervasive, ultra-fast broadband. Connecting not just people, but cars and classrooms, homes and hospitals, offices and household objects, even entire cities. There are significant social implications. This is a tool that can educate and empower but we also need to ensure that all Europeans benefit from sustainable technological progress. More technology should not mean more exclusion. And we need to consider all the implications. For example, we need to harness open data while protecting privacy and safeguarding security. Ladies and gentlemen, the future of Europe is science and technology and digital can drive positive change in that field, as in so many others. 
Europe citizens, our leaders, our researchers and innovators, we need a few things. The courage to invest, the innovation to work together and the willingness to do things differently, to deliver the digital revolution the young people of Europe rightly demand. So I hope you will all be actively participating in this conferences debates and working for a Europe that's more open, more innovative and more digital. Thank you.